and welcome to An Awful Console, your weekly podcast where we talk about books, games, food, and stuff that caught our attention during the week. My name is Chris, and with me is my beautiful co-host and wife, Karen, and I forgot to remove Horrifying and Undead. I was about to say, <laughs> what were you going to say, sir? <laughs> Excuse you. Oh. oh, fuck. We haven't recorded since horror month. Yeah, last episode we recorded was with Champ like three weeks ago. Yeah, because we recorded it a week ahead of time. Yeah. 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 How are you? I'm tired, but good. How are you? Why are you always tired? Because I'm old. I'm old as fuck. You're older as fuck now. I am. You're 31 now. I am. It was your birthday yesterday, Saturday, it the was. 12th. It was. You telling everybody my damn birthday? That's all right. Oh, my God. They know when we got married, too, which was why we weren't here the past two weeks. Yeah. No, it wasn't. We were in Athens for... Uh, but it wasn't for our anniversary. We were in Athens. It just happened to partially be for our anniversary. Our anniversary weekend. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey, uh, if this is your first time, one hundred and eighteenth, hundred and eighteenth, hundred and eighteenth. Doesn't that sound hundred and eighteenth? Sound a little bit weird to you that hundred eighteenth? Either whatever, it's fine. Anyways, just, if it's your hundred and eighteenth time coming into the show. Uh, welcome. We're glad you're joining us for an episode of A Novel Console. We hope you stick around, have some laughs, and maybe find some new things to enjoy. Uh, if you want to reach out to us, you can do it on our socials, which is basically at A Novel Console on every platform, or you can email us directly at A Novel Console at gmail.com. Or if you would like to support us, you can do it over at patreon.com slash A Novel Console. Tell your friends to check out the show because every listen and review helps. You can leave us a review on most platforms like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Reviews help us be more discoverable and we need to be discovered so that we don't have to work anymore. We also have our own Novel Console Discord. If you want to join, send us an email or you can check out our Twitter and look for the pinned tweet. Yeah pin tweet so we we're supposed to actually release this episode friday we we're supposed to release this episode like a million years ago yeah. um, like this five is, months ago yeah this like, is the uh winners of the backlog of doom the last one we did this was supposed to be released mid yeah. uh october but yeah. shit got in the way um we were supposed to release it friday but a storm came through so that was fun yeah yeah so hurricane season's not over yet no fucking bitches it's not over yet yeah. It's crazy. You know what else is a bitch? Um, getting older. Cancer is a bitch. Yes, it is. Um, Kevin Conroy, the iconic voice of Batman, passed away a few days ago, uh, November 10th to be exact, from uh, cancer. He was Batman. I don't care who you say the best Batman is. You are wrong. It was Kevin Conroy. He was incredible. Um, other stuff that you might know him from, let me see here, <laughs> like his Wikipedia is all Batman, 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 Justice League, Batman, Batman, Batman. Um, apparently he was in Murphy Brown. He was in Cheers, uh, Killer, Killer Instinct. Um, he was in The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest. Wow. That's surprising. Uh, Ben 10 Venture Bros. <laughs> <laughs> as Captain Sunshine. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Love that show. Um, he was in video games too. He was um, in Jack and Daxter and Max Payne. Uh, but most of his stuff is uh, just Batman. He was just such an incredible Batman. And you know who his Joker wa is or was? Mark Hamill. Yes, Mark Hamill. They played off of each other so well. They were so good together. I really just want to sit down and watch the show with you. So you can understand. You want me to sit down and watch a Batman cartoon? Yes. You know how much I don't like DC, right? I, I think you would like it. It's so cool. So the thing about the cartoon is that it, it has this unique look. It's like very dark looking. But it's because most cartoons are drawn on a white background. This one was drawn on a black background. So everything looks shadier, it looks more obscure, it's just so good, so cool. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. So it's a shame we're not going to get to hear him again, um, unless, you know, if you watch the cartoon or you play the games or whatever, um, a legend is gone. It's just sad. It's awful. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty terrible. Uh, moving along, you know what else is terrible? What? Laser tag. Oh, my Lord. I forgot about that. You forgot about laser tag? Yeah. I didn't go, so it's easy to forget. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> a buddy of ours, Logan, uh, had his 30th and he decided to go, well, his wife decided to take him laser tagging. A former guest. Yes. Former guests. Guests. Yeah. <laughs> yes. From the... the Star uh, Wars month. Yes. From the Skywalker Saga episode. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we went... La- I la- went laser tagging with them. And oh my God, my knee still hurt from that. And that was like, what, two weeks ago? No, it was just last weekend. It was last weekend? Yeah, it was oh just a week God. ago. <laughs> a week ago yesterday. Yeah. So we got there. It was like six adults and a bunch of little kids that just happened to be there. So it was like they divided the adults and the kids and like made us teams. And these kids were hardcore. Like they were like, you're going to go there and you're going to flank him. And when they come around, you're going to do this. And, and we we're like. That's what the kids were saying? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's impressive. And uh, Logan was like, oh, uh, we're going to go do this team. Get here. Get here. And they were all screaming like, sir, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> like Stuff like that. It was it was intense. And, like running around and bending and all that shit. It was, it was murder on my knees. It was so hard. We ain't in good shape. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm old. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, but the funniest thing about that day is that um, they did a hundred, like not a hundred, like they did a, a, a free for all. So everybody against everybody. And I was like hiding in a corner shooting, trying to take Logan out because it was, he was the birthday boy. So the point of it was to have the birthday boy not have fun. Um, obviously. Obviously, because that's what we do on birthdays. Um, this little kid just runs around and he looks at me like in like with fear in his eyes and i look at him like are you okay he says i'm having a really bad day can 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 you promise not to shoot me i'm like okay i won't shoot you if you promise not to shoot me either he says okay that's the deal and he just put his headband on and kept running bless his heart (laughs) i thought you were gonna say that he immediately turned around and shot you no no like the thing is like i'm peeking out of the corner like shooting around and whatnot and uh, I see the little kid, and the little kid looks at me like all terrified. Oh! And I look away. And I just keep shooting. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> and in another moment, like I was like shooting, and I, I see, I feel like something run behind me, and I just lift up the gun and just start shooting, and it was a little girl. Oh no! And like her dad was there, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I like think her dad, dad probably would have done the same thing to her. The dad was like helping her and whatnot. It looks like she she wanted to stop playing, um, and then he joined in. So Bless he, he it. says, "Is it cool if I camp out here with you?" And I was like, "It's fine, man." <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. I would do that again, except without the bending, because the bending sucked. It hurt a lot. I can imagine. Yeah. Um, speaking of hurt, um, I posted this on our on you and I personal discord um it is a something that happened in japan it is a group of 100 in a brawl at tokyo skyscraper restaurant 100 people started a brawl why i don't know i haven't read the article but apparently it's uh they're saying it's something along the lines of a yakuza brawl oh really yeah oh like in the games not an actual yakuza because like the actual yakuza are kind of like done for why uh, uh anti-crime loss and shit that oh. cracked down. yeah anyways uh police were called to a restaurant in a tokyo skyscraper sunday after a mass brawl erupted among around 100 customers who appeared to be members of a group with links to organized crime okay i guess it was yakuza <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. that Mo- sounds legit. Yeah, most diners had already left the function that had booked out the whole restaurant when officers reached the modern French eatery on the 58th floor of the landmark Sunshine 60 Tower in the Ikebukuro district. With only a man who had suffered a minor head injury and a handful of others remaining, the police said. According to an investigative source, those involved in the commotion appeared to be members of Chinese Dragon, a c- gang compromise of primarily of second and third generation descendants of Japanese orphans left behind in China when Japan withdrew from the country at the end of World War II. That, that's actually very interesting. I didn't know that that was a thing. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. Police have received information that the function was in, intended to celebrate a member's release from prison. The scene was littered with broken beer bottles and glasses. The police said adding they are investigating the incident as a suspected case of property damage. A restaurant clerk made an emergency call around 6.30 p.m. after the group started eating and drinking about 
at around six and suddenly got into a fight, they said. There were no customers other than the dining party, no staff were injured, and the man found at the scene with injuries was transported to a hospital, police said. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that insane? You imagine you like work for a restaurant, somebody books it for like a hundred people. And they all just decide to get into a brawl. Just them. Nobody else. Staff or nothing. It's, it's You're just like standing a, around looking at them beating the shit out of each other. It's like a, um, what do you call it? Like a, um, oh God. Okay. A flash mob, but yes, with fights. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was trying to say the thing that Mitchell did for Cam. And Cam was like almost borderline mad at him because he couldn't believe that Mitchell was dancing without him. <laughs> yeah, it's a flash mob. That thing. That's crazy. Uh, Yak was a flash mob. Wow. That's insane. It's so, so freaking funny. All right. So uh, moving on. Kerdin has something that she wants us to taste test. Yes. Yeah, so we got our hands on some candy that we're going to try. So first we have... Uguisubal, Uguisubal, Uji Matcha Taste. Let me see. Some, I don't know what the fuck these things are. Me neither. I saw them on, on the place and they look pretty good. This is what I'm really excited about. These are Squishmallow Sour Candies. They have apple, peach, cherry, raspberry, and pineapple flavors. The bag is just so fucking cute. I want a Squishmallow so bad, but... You didn't take a picture of it? Oh, oops. Oh, well. No, I mean, there's nowhere to put it on that graphic anyway. It's that's fine. right, that's right. Okay. Graphic? Yeah, on the episode graphic. Oh. Well, we could put them on, like... Oh, my the... gosh, they're, like, little animal shapes. This one looks like a little piggy. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. Okay. okay. Let's see if I can get a cat. I want to eat a cat. The cat. I'm chewing. This is a cat. I can't tell what flavor this is. This is apple, and it is terrible. Mm. This is very bad. I don't know what this is, but I like it. They taste like Jolly Rancher gummies. I love Jolly Ranchers. I hate it Jolly Ranchers. It tastes like Ranchers. grape, but it didn't say grape's one of the flavors, did it? No. Give it back. I don't I don't see the flavors. Um, On the front, at the bottom. Oh, apple, peach, cherry, raspberry, and pineapple. I think this no. might be raspberry. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, that, that's... Ugh. Peach. Not a fan. I want a peach. Oh, uh, that, that that's tastes... okay. These are all for me. Oh god, why does it taste so fake at the end? Mm. This is definitely a fake peach. Yeah, they're all. I don't hate it, but okay. That's Let's okay. Try... I'll eat all of them. Let's try these ugusi balls. Ugusi balls. Ugusi balls. He's... they're green. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh matcha. God, they smell like matcha, like straight Well, no matcha. fucking shit. They're matcha flavored. Is it disgusting? Oh, I don't think I like the apple. They taste... They taste like... Fish balls. Ew, like those thingies that we got that one time that we threw away because they smelled so bad? The bonito flakes? Mm-hmm. Kind of. Um, oh, I don't think I'm going to like this. Yes, you have to eat it. It's It's not candy. I tell you, it's not candy. It's, it's. I guess I can wash out the taste with my cider You're and right, more alcohol. candy. Yeah. yeah, my alcohol at one thirty in the afternoon. Yeah, Let, let's see. I, I want to oh, try God. this again. Oh my god, it's <laughs> terrible! Oh, oh no! Oh, that was bad. That was a. Oh no! That's a. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 It tastes god. like a fish oh tank the god. more you chew it. Oh my god, yes. It's like I'm eating fish food. Uh. <laughs> I think fish food would uh. be tastier. <laughs> yeah, those those ugusi balls. Oh are no. Bad. No, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It also feels like I have tree bark caked up in my teeth now. Yeah. yeah Give I, me some gummies. I can see oh. that. Uh, your, your copper bird's not full. Um, okay, both of these were fucking losses. These were, these no, were terrible. I like your squishmallow. They're... they're Fucking awful. Give me that one. I want to try the pineapple shit. Get this fish taste out of my mouth. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, mm -hmm. oh god, this is even worse. Is it really? Uh huh. Oh, mm -hmm. it tastes fake. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Ugh. How are you gonna get fresh fruit gummy? Well, I guess that is the thing. The Welch's but... ones are really good. Mm, yeah, pineapple. Mm. Mm -mm. It does taste very fake, but it's not terrible. Yeah, that guy lied to us. They're cute. Ugh. 
Well, anyways, are you ready to go into some book talk? Yeah, I guess so. All oh. right, this is book talk. This week's book is The Backlog Book, which was The Queer Principles of Kit Webb by Kat Sebastian. It was published on June 8th, 2021 by Avon, which right, is like exclusively see, a romance publisher. Let's see what you had on that poll. Um, cause I, 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 oh, yeah. I, I know like remember. Blood Scion, I think, was there. Maybe Lake's Edge. So it was Weather Girl by Rachel Lee Solomon. Rachel Lee Simmons. Rachel Lynn Solomon. Yeah. Uh, the XY by, by Virginia Bergen. Which that, is now gone to bright light. <laughs> the Queer Principles of Kit Webb by Kat Sebastian. Lake's Edge by Lyndall Clipstone. And These Hollow Vows by oh, Lexi Blood Ryan. Oh, must have been on the one before. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Okay, go ahead. Um. So, The Queer Principles of Kit Webb. When I picked it up at the store, I honestly thought it was a lesbian book. I should have looked closer at the cover. Um, it's not a lesbian book. It's a gay boy book, um, which I did discover, at least in that backlog introduction episode when I was reading the description. <laughs> you were but disappointed. I was, I was very disappointed. I thought it was lesbians. Uh, but it's okay. I have a lesbian book coming out in like two weeks, a Thanksgiving week, yeah, that I got to have. I'm excited. Um, why are you making that weird face? Now this drink tastes like those fucking Squishmallows. Well, we've made terrible mistakes. Mm -hmm. Anywho. I told you to grab the Nerd Shrope. <laughs> no, the Squishmallows are fun. That that other shit's nasty. The Squishmallows are fun enough. Mm. Anywho, so Kit Web. Oh my gosh. I am the main reason this episode is held up so much. Because I just couldn't bring myself to read this book. It is my type of book. It's gay. It's Regency era. Love that for me, but it's just not a very well written book. Um, which you're gonna, when you hear my rating, you're gonna be like, this doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> it's so I, I just really struggled to get into it because I feel like there's not enough character development. It's called Kit Webb, but Kit Webb, I feel like, is not even the main focus of the book until like closer to the end i i felt like the main characters were minor characters if that i it just there, there wasn't enough there wasn't enough development it was just all surface story mm -hmm. and with that that's ultimately why on our way back from athens i had to switch to audio because i knew there was no way i was going to finish that damn book i read the physical most of the way up there right didn't i um, yeah, while well, you were yeah. screeching, uh, 7 Eleven, Avenger Sevenfold, whatever the fuck they're called. 7 Eleven. Yeah, that's the first name that came to mind. Avenger Sevenfold. 7 Avenger Sevenfold. Anyway, um, I was trying to read it while you were screeching that all the way there. When I, yeah, switched to the audio. And still, I was still bored with the audio. It was just like nothing fucking happens. There's, I feel like the plot is just really stupid. It's all about. This guy, Percy, who I feel like should have been in the title, um, he wants to steal a book from his father because it was like a book that belonged to his mother and he thinks there are like family secrets in it or whatever that he needs and his father keeps it on his person at all times and his father's a really terrible person. He hires Kit Webb as a highwayman to help him rob his father. Kit Webb is also handicapped, so he can't do the robbing. So he's teaching Percy how to do it himself. Um, it's just, it's not good. It's just... No, uh, it's just not good. Yeah. The only entertaining parts, and the reason I gave it a higher rating is because they are gay, and um, there are some horny bits. <laughs> and... <laughs> I just love the horny bits as long as they're consensual horny bits. Um, they're always fun. Okay. And they were consensual and horny. And fun. <laughs> they were consensual um, and horny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I wound up giving it three and a half stars mm -hmm. just because I love gays. Um, but 
I don't know. It has a lot of potential. Um, I think that author needed a good bit more editing. Good bit more. But so, like, nothing happens at all? Like... He finally robs his father, and his father shoots him. Um... Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Does anybody I think... die? No, I don't think so. I also zoned out a good bit towards <laughs> that. I was just so over it. I, I read this book for, like, three months. Because I just... Uh, I, I was not motivated to finish it in any way. It just was not great. Yeah. Might as well. But three just and a have, half stars. Just that's still a high rating for something you're not. I into. know, I know. I know. I'm contradictory. But like what what make you gave it three stars? Was it like the characters were charming or their their gayness was cute. Their their bits where they finally admitted that they were gay for each other were pretty cute but it wasn't enough to salvage the whole thing gotcha so it's just a dumb but it has a lot of potential mm -hmm. a lot of potential like the only time that they really had any depth was with each other when they were being gay not just their regular interactions um so like them interacting with each other was interesting the rest wasn't yes uh, okay. Them interacting with each other in a gay way was interesting. Okay. So because they did they not being... always interact with each other in a gay way. So when they were macho men, it wasn't... No. Or when they were trying to avoid the gayness, it was not fun. There, there wasn't any tension. There was no tension. Like, when they finally hook up, it's just kind of out of nowhere. I was like, what? Oh, okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. Didn't you say that this was kind of like a big book on, on like... In, uh, uh, bookstagram or something not really no um i know people were hyped for it like when it came out but i don't know that i ever saw that many reviews for it i see i see so it's just it's just a book yeah nothing super special but i also wouldn't say it was like one of the worst things i've ever read obviously uh, i mean because decent rating uh, i guess I guess that... And I decided to keep it. I almost put it with my bright light pile. And I was like, you know what? No. This book had potential. It just hmm. didn't live up to its fullest. Oh, I mean, that, I guess that's something. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Because you literally talk for like two minutes. I know. I know. I told you I wouldn't have much to say. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we have plenty to say when it comes to garbage, so it'll yeah, still be okay. a decently long episode. Okay. Yeah, because I, 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 I didn't even have anything to make fun of for this book because you gave me like nothing. Like the I'm story, sorry. the story just, just uh, seems so plain. It's like it is very plain. It's like let's rob this dude, but I'm handicapped, so you're gonna do it. Yeah, that's it. Essentially, look, Luna's doing something even more interesting than that book. She's scratching her ear and she's gonna sniff it and then lick it. You know, it's funny. The other day, William and Crystal were here, my sister and her boyfriend, and Luna was like, oh, sh there she there goes. There she goes, licking it. <laughs> she was doing that, and I told I told him, I was like, look at her. She's going to scratch her ear, sniff it, and then lick it off her paw. <laughs> and she did it, and we all started screaming, cheering her on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't. She's the cutest thing in the world. Yeah, even with that fucked up haircut I gave her, she's still the cutest. Yeah. yeah. We haven't talked about that haircut, have we? No. Now we can leave that for later. Uh -huh. I gave her a haircut. It was awful. Yeah. yeah. She looks She looks incredible. So make sure your game conversation is really short, too. Stay in line with me. Come on. We'll, we'll see. I, I might have some stuff to say. Uh, um, okay. Just a lot of complaining in general. Okay. All right. So three and a half? Three stars? Three. three. I think I gave three, three out of five? Half. Let me check. Three out of five? Yeah. Let me double check. Okay. Let, just go ahead and look and uh, while you do yes, that. Yes. Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. All right. So three and a half stars for the queer principles of Kit Wong. Average plus a little bit. Average plus a little bit, but yep. still boring. Yes. Very boring. All right. So this is Games and Stuff. All right. 
right, for this week's game, we have The Last of Us Part 1, which is a remake of the original Last of Us game. Um, this game was released on September 2nd, 2022 uh, for the PlayStation 5, and it is coming to Windows at some point. And I have to say, this game is a vast improvement on the uh, original Last of Us. Um, if you've listened to the podcast, uh, let's say like at least 20 episodes of it, you would know that I hate the last of us. I hate the original last of us. It is a terrible fucking game. It plays like dog shit and the story is absolute trash. I hate the characters and I wish all of the bad stuff to happen to them, but this game is actually very, very good. The gameplay was updated to feel more like the second part's gameplay. So it feels a lot better to play. Like the shooting actually feels good and everything. The story is still trash and the characters are still pieces of shit. Is Rami Malik in it? Rami Malik. Is that his name? No, that is that's in uh Until Dawn. Whole is it different the same game. Oh, it's different? Yeah, whole different game. Why do I think yeah. it was the same game? I don't know. Um so a little bit about The Last of Us. You play as Joel um, who, okay, I, okay, so I'm going to do a little bit, something a little bit different than, um, in the previous games and stuff. I'm going to spoil everything for the story. So if you don't want to, way to go. So if you don't want to hear the spoilers for a game that released in 2013, then just, you know, just speed up, uh, just go ahead, like maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, so before we, I actually get into spoiling. So this game is the backlog of Doom winner. Um, it was between Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Immortals Phoenix Rising, Rage 2, Yakuza Kiwami, and this game. Uh, this game won, and I had to play it. And honestly, like I said, I, I had a pretty good time playing it, even though I still hate the story and the characters. So to start off, you play as Joel, a Southern dude who loses his daughter uh, the, on the day of the viral outbreak, the zombies in this game are not regular zombies. They're fungus zombies. So there's this fungus called cordy cordyceps that, um, is most known for making ants. It, it infects ants, makes them climb onto high leaves on trees and whatnot. So birds can eat them so that the fungus can keep spreading. Right. This is the zombie game, not the monsters killing off people one by one the frat people yes not that why did i confuse those two i don't know until dawn last of us i don't know i have no idea yeah i mean i i'm excited for the third last of us game because they're going to change the number and it's going to be called even less of us that's ridiculous <laughs> you love it <laughs> um so anyway, so his daughter gets killed on the day that the zombies break out and all hell breaks loose. Um, and then he meets Ellie, who he starts seeing as his daughter, but he doesn't really want to form that attachment with her because she might die. And turns out Ellie is immune to the zombies uh, bite. So he's taking her to Seattle. Seattle? He's taking her somewhere to uh, make a vaccine out of her brain, which would kill her. Which is actually wrong. It wouldn't work because you cannot make a vaccine against fungus. Oh. Interesting. So in the end, Joel breaks into the hospital and kills everybody in order to save Ellie, which is he did the right thing because they would have killed her for no reason at all. Um, and then that just goes into a whole branching thing of Ellie has survivor guilt, survival's guilt and she blames Joel for it even though she doesn't understand that if they would have killed her, it would have been for nothing. So it's it's a whole complicated emotional mess that is just ridiculous. It's a lot for a video game. Yeah. So uh, throughout the game, you meet a bunch of survivors. Um, there's actually one scene with some brothers that, that's, that, that scene is actually pretty good. Um, but these characters are just flaming pieces of shit. Like everybody in this world is fucking awful. Like at least... In other media, like The Walking Dead, you know, like, these are normal people trying to survive. In this game, no. Everybody is a fucking monster for no reason at all. Like, for no fucking reason at all. Um, let me see if I have any notes. Uh, let's see. Gameplay. Nope. Uh, game notes. Here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, I 
don't have any notes. What the hell? This is wrong. Let me see. Uh, short game notes. Uh, no. Wow, I didn't make any notes. Just for this be game. brief like me. Come on. Brief winners team. Woo. Let me see. Did I even give it a score? Did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Okay. And the score is actually pretty good. I, I'm, I'm surprised that I, I I gave it such a high score. Um, so anyways, the game, to, to start, the game looks fantastic, right? The, all these characters look incredible. Like the graphical overhaul, it was unnecessary. They shouldn't have remade this game. They should have spent the resources on remaking something else if they felt like it, but not this game. But it still looks very good. Um, like I said, the gameplay just feels so tight. It doesn't like the first one felt like whenever you shot, if you were shooting forward, there was always a small chance that your bullet would completely take a hard right or a hard left and not go to where you were aiming. In this game, like it actually feels like, you know, like it's good shooting. And I played this game on easy, if I'm not mistaken. And it just gave me everything that I wanted. You know, it, it gave me. Uh, the power fantasy, it gave me, like, um, actual, uh, real, it, it felt realistic every time you shot something, because, you know, you're not going to shoot somebody in the face and they're going to stay alive. They're going to, you know, die. So I, wa I want that, that, or shoot somebody square in the chest, they're definitely going to die. So I wanted that. Like, the zombie encounters, they were fine. Like, it's just, they bum rush you, you shoot them. There were some enemies that I absolutely hated. There's some called the stalkers. They hide like behind crates and shit and they rush you. And every time they show up, it's in a very dark room. You only have your flashlight to see. And you might be looking and you look towards the corner and then you see like a person like looking at you from the corner and then they hide. And then I don't know where they rush you from another side. So I hated those enemies. Those enemies can go fuck themselves because they were creepy as shit. Um, other than that, it's not worth the $70 that it costs. Good thing I had a uh, Saints Row to trade in when I bought this. So I only paid like 20 for it, um, because of trade bonuses. Cause they had this really nice trade bonus where if you would trade anything towards the game, they would give you like an extra 20 bucks. So I made 40 plus 20 plus 20. <laughs> so, yeah. So I paid for it that way. Um, yeah, I mean, I've I talked to Thrack about this and I told him it's like look I, I I like the game I like the gameplay I hate the characters and the story I think two did it better but I feel two did it better because I added a new character that actually felt like a real person and not like a fucking psych sociopathic m murderous monster um, and I actually like everything that happens in two better than this game. This game is just, it's also one note. And that note is just everything is sad for no fucking reason. Like your life, that's not a, enough for you to be joyous. No, you have to be sad and you have to kill for no matter what. Like, I fucking hate this game. That sounds like a Debbie Downer. Yeah, it is. And like The Walking Dead did this story too without the girl being... Uh, impervious to the virus and they actually did it right like you cared for that girl like Clementine felt like my daughter at the end of the game in this game I just want Ellie to be hit by something oh my god I just want like a bag of bricks to fall on her I, I, I <sighs> and Joel too Joel causes most of her problems Joel is a massive fucking piece of shit that ma the main character is awful like, he is so bad. Like, in one part, Ellie's like, oh, I want to stay with you. But please don't send me with your brother because I don't trust them. And he says, oh, you'll be safer with him. And she's like, no, I won't because I don't trust him. I feel safe with you. And he's like, no, you don't. And she says, oh, but, you know, I know you lost your daughter and I'm not replacing her. But, you know, I, I, I really care for you and I feel like you would do, you would be, I would feel protected with you. He's like, well... You got one thing right. You're not my daughter. And he walks away. What the like, fuck? What the fuck, dude? Like, this little girl is pouring her heart out to you and you're being this fucking massive piece of shit. Like, f fuck off. Hate this game. Escape ma makes me fucking feel angry. But it's still an 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> Look at both of us being contradictory <laughs> as hell. You can't say anything to me about my somewhat high-ish average rating. Yeah. Because yeah, like, that's a very high rating. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... And it's all the gameplay. Like, the gameplay feels so good. Like, it finally makes sense. 
Like, this is a Naughty Dog game. And I, I don't like Naughty Dog at all. I think their games are subpar and they do not deserve the praise that they get. Because they are just normal ass games. And this one feels very good. If this is the game that we would have gotten in 2013, I still would have hated all the characters in the story. But I would have liked the gameplay. That 2013 game? Fuck no, that thing was terrible. That was a zero out of ten. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, are we ready for our large garbage thing? Yes, we are. All right. This wait, do you want to do it? Yes. Do it. This is Give Me the Garbage plus Athens Jibber Jabber. Before, weekend before, two weeks ago, <laughs> right? I, I don't know. I had my earphones on, so I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Because so, I was cueing you in. What'd you say? Oh, two weeks last. Uh, two weeks ago, we went to Athens. Yes. Right? Yeah. The week before, I played laser tag with a bunch of little kids. Yes. Yeah, so two weeks ago, we went to Athens um, for a celebration of life for one of my uh, good friends who took her own life back in May. Um, and our anniversary celebration of life was on our anniversary, so we uh, we had some fun times. We had a sad time. We had fun times again. Yeah. So we uh, decided. Sad time to... wasn't even that sad. No, it was... It, it was. She didn't want it to be. I mean, it, there was a lot of crying, but it was mostly a bunch of good stories and people like laughing and stuff. Yeah. And realizing that we all kind of had like a similar story to tell about her. Anyway, um, we decided to track all of our food that we consumed while we were there garbage it um so on our way up we went to bucky's because there's a bucky's on the way up to athens and we don't have a bucky's anywhere near us and we decided to get their famous brisket sandwich <laughs> famous. oh my god this shit was disgusting <laughs> disgusting <laughs> yours was mine was good so we got one chopped and one sliced the sliced was decent it was pretty good it was yeah it was fine like i i wouldn't get it again but i thought it was pretty good i, I would get that sandwich again you would it's a gas station brisket sandwich I what are you expecting well everybody raves about it everybody's like oh bucky's this bucky's that busky bucky's brisket Busky's that brisket, brisket that brisket that brisket, <laughs> that brisket. Bussy brisket. yeah bussy um you know uh, and the chopped brisket was disgusting. That was awful. Disgusting. That shit was trash. It was just, I mean, I'm looking at the picture of it open right now, and I'm really distracted by that huge chunk of fat. Really distracted by that. I don't I don't but, even mind. The f I love the fat, actually. What I hate is that their barbecue sauce has a shit ton of fake smoke in it. Yeah. Like that liquid smoke shit, that, is tr that should That's not be in anything. That's all it tastes anything. like. That's Liquid all it smoke. tasted like. It was bad. It was real bad. Oh, and the bun was just not working for me either. It was just overall a very not great, not great experience. So we continued driving. Well, up we got to... beaver nuggets too. The beaver nuggets were pretty good. Oh, I wasn't going to talk about the beaver nuggets. No, no. They're they're okay. So there's there's a bunch oh, of ways God. that I've heard them described, and all of them make sense to me. So to me, they taste like Cheetos, but without the cheese and like a caramel coating. And my so boss. So, like caramel popcorn had a baby with Cheetos. Yes. Um, caramel okay, corn. Okay. Um, what's it called? But Munch a bunch? Bunch of? Crunch, crunch and Munch had a baby with Cheetos. With Cheetos puffs. There you go. Yeah. That's what, it, that's what it feels like to me. That's what they look like. What my boss says is that they remind him of cereal, which I also see. Like, it's like sugar smacks. It's like pops. Yes. Corn yeah. pops. I love pops. Man, like, I want a box of pops. A box of corn Let's pops? Let's get some pops and some honeycombs. Oh Do you remember those honeycomb commercials with that crazy little hairy thing? Honeycombs! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So both of them make sense to me. Like, he was like, oh, uh, I just wanted to make like a big bowl of them with milk and shit and just eat them like cereal. I was like, okay. And then I saw milk in the fridge. I'm like, should I try this? You didn't, did you? <laughs> I didn't. I should have. I did eat them with Nutella and they were pretty good with that. Yum. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, continue. Okay, so we continued on up to Athens, and our very first stop was somewhere you didn't really eat, but it was one of my, well, it was my favorite place while I lived up there. My favorite. It is a fast food hibachi place <laughs> called the Noko Express, Ugh. and I went in and immediately ordered my regular order, chicken teriyaki. And I got it with a giant thing of their yellow sauce. A sauce is what really gets me. That fucking yellow sauce yellow is amazing. Sauce. It, that sounds even You more, tasted it, right? It, oh, it's so nasty. But what what do you think is in it? Because I've never seen anywhere remember. else have it. Um, it probably has like some turmeric or something in it. Probably. Because I know that it looks like the yellow sauce that they have at Tropical Chicken. You know what I'm talking about? That one has turmeric in it. But it's not that sauce. It does not taste anywhere near the same. I don't know. But their teriyaki sauce is just so great and thick and magical. It's not. Their veggies, I found, were a little subpar compared to how they used to be. And they give you your rice in one of those little molds. So you have like a mound, this perfect mound of rice. I'm going to smother that shit in that sauce for days and eat it. For days, and the chicken was bad too. The no, rice was bad. Well, the, the chicken sauce was a little was tough, but I, I think I maybe it's like like your mom with her ring dings. I'm eating my memories. Probably, I'm eating some really happy, I, lonely memories with my I dog. Thought, I, and I, it didn't make me shit my brains out like it normally does. Hard because you don't have a gallbladder. <laughs> what? No, you think it would make me shit my brains out even more because I don't <laughs> have a gallbladder. Gallbladder was damaged. <laughs> I. Oh, man, TMI. I go to the bathroom way more now than I ever have in my whole life. Sometimes I used to go a day or two without going. Oh, not anymore. Lucky if I All go right. like an let's, hour or two. Let's continue. Okay, yeah, let's go back. I'm getting too personal. I had, I had there. I had like the the dumplings. Yeah, you had gyoza. Um, they were deep fried. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture. They look crispy as fuck. They were crispy as fuck. <laughs> Uh, but they were also a little bit pink inside. <laughs> they were not as pink, though, as the place we're going to talk about in a little while. Yeah. they were they Nowhere were, near as pink as that place. They were, they were a little bit pink inside. Um, I, I, uh, um, I, didn't, I didn't hate them, but I would never order them again. <laughs> <laughs> you also weren't hungry. Yeah. So that's Wait, why you didn't did get we, anything did we, there. We didn't rate Bucky's. We didn't rate Bucky's. Let's go back. Garbage. Okay. Garbage. Oh, almost garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Inoko, garbage. No, garbage. Yeah, it's almost gar- oh, garbage. Almost garbage. I'll give it a meh. No, I love it. I, I love I it so much. I would be so fine much. if I would never see that place again from here to the oh day my I God. die. Okay, so this was Friday the... No, it was Saturday. It was Saturday the 29th. And because it was Halloween weekend, Athens does this thing called Wild Rumpus for Halloween. Where they basically just invite everyone and anyone who wants to, to get dressed up for Halloween. And they have like a parade of Halloween costumes all through downtown Athens. Like if you want to be in the parade, just hop in and walk with the group. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even have to be in costume. Just walk with them. It's really weird. And they have like a dance party. It's the it's dance interesting. Party was very weird. <laughs> that dude, that half naked dude dancing with his baby held up against his chest with yes. his newborn. Yes, that, they, were, it, they welcome all ages. Crazy. So you have to have a wristband if you want to have drinks. An open container you can have like within these certain areas downtown. But it, it is open to all ages. So there were tons and tons of little children yeah. and like, raging drunk adults. Like I understand, I'm not shocked if I see like somebody naked or like people in a corner off doing drugs or having sex or whatever. Now a baby in the middle of the rave being held by a shirtless dad that who had a beer in the other hand. Yes, that is a bit different upsetting. Yeah, <laughs> a little like, different. Maybe and they then next get a to the babysitter. Spe- next to the speakers too. Yeah, right next to the speakers because they were up front. Yeah, it was loud. What the that baby's f- gonna be deaf. Yeah, that baby's gonna be. I didn't see any sort of ear protection on that baby either. Mm, maybe the baby's already deaf. May- maybe might have had earplugs, but you wouldn't want to put earplugs on a newborn. That Who was knows? a small baby too. That was a very very small baby. So we walked around. We people watched. We were hungry. Um, and we were struggling to find anywhere to eat because downtown Athens, 
You don't really have any chains down there except like a Chick Fil A, and you know we're not gonna go to Chick Fil A. <laughs> no. But um, so we we were struggling to find somewhere to eat. We finally decided on one place. Found out it was gonna be like a two hour wait. Don't want to do that. Another place looked way too expensive. Can't do that. And then we just happened to stumble that place upon had like an eighteen dollar avocado toast or some shit. It was whack. No. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. Pretty sure one of their sides was like $15. Yeah. yeah. And the anyway. place was empty, so that... Yeah. yeah. Also tells you something. So we, we stumbled upon this little hole in the wall, just mainly because there was a guy standing at the door taking names and giving out wait times. It was next to like a record store, I think. Um, didn't really have a sign outside that we could see what the hell it was. Um, the wall, I could see that the wallpaper looked like Haunted Mansion wallpaper. It looked like, like it had the velvet, um, like Florida de Lee stuff on it. I don't know. I thought it was just a bar. Okay. People will know what it is. Um, but we put our name on the list. It was only going to be like 15 minutes. So we decided to stand there in the doorway and dance to the dance party while we waited. Turns out it was burgers and fries. And this place is called Clocked with an exclamation point. It was one of the best burgers I've ever had in my entire life. Mm -hmm. I just want to cry thinking about it. Because mm -hmm. oh my God. just the, the <laughs> whole place, it's so small and so dingy hole in the wall. <laughs> but like also really, really cute decor. It, it almost had like a, like a Haunted Mansion meets Gideon's Bakehouse vibe to me. It's like kind of goth. Yeah, kind of goth. Kind of funky. Yeah. I don't know. But um really random for what the menu is but i saw that they had a pimento cheese burger did I'm you get like, a picture of what the burgers actually have in the I menu i didn't take a picture of no. the menu no okay i wish i had i did get at least clocked we use 100 percent all natural humanely raised beef no Human antibiotics beef. <laughs> no steroids <laughs> no growth hormones no fillers never frozen Something you can see the cheeseburger, the meteor burger, and the bacon cheese. Um, but I can't see anything else. But so I got I got the pimento cheeseburger because I always want a pimento cheeseburger if I see it on the menu, and it's never what you want. It's it never lives up to my expectations. There's like normally barely any pimento cheese. Like I'm like, how do they even call this a pimento cheeseburger? Because there's nothing on here. What the fuck. I think Burger Champ might be judging you right now. Really? I, I don't think he likes pimento cheese. Oh, I don't give a fuck. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> I, well, to be fair, I don't really like it by itself. Like, I need to have it on a burger okay. or on a sandwich with something. That, like, I don't want a pimento cheese sandwich. <laughs> pimento, grilled che pimento cheese grilled cheese? <laughs> oh, my God. No. Like a BLT or something with okay, some pimento okay. cheese on it would be good, I think. This burger was so fucking amazing i from look looking at my picture it looks like it had purple onions on it i don't think mine had bacon i know yours did but i don't think mine did um but it was just a mound of gooey hot pimento cheese on top of this perfectly cooked patty with the crispiest edges ever mm -hmm. it was fucking amazing Mm -hmm. The flavors were on point. It was so hot and gooey and just really messy as fuck. It was so delicious. I didn't want to use the napkin to wipe my face because I wanted to lick everything off of my own face. It was so good. Now to you. Well, you <laughs> that's just my picture. <laughs> Your your burger looks great. It looks way better than mine. Oh, I forgot. They had UFO beer. Oh at yeah. This place. And recorder leg. And recorder leg. So mm -hmm. okay, so the UFO is a wheat beer. Um it's a citrusy wheat, wheat beer. And it's the last beer I had with my dad before I moved here. And you had already ordered a beer when I noticed that there was a separate drink menu on the table and showed it to you and you lost your shit and was like, I have to have one I of chugged these the right first now. the first one so I could enjoy my UFO. Um you don't see UFO anywhere i haven't seen it since i moved here and i saw that shit and i had to have a can and it was so good it did not disappoint um okay so my burger i got the peanut butter burger 
So I had caramelized onions, bacon, peanut butter, and I had some other stuff that I don't remember. I got it with two patties. And I feel like I had a... Uh, uh, an out of body experience a revelation a violent revelation it was like this burger reminded me if i ever forgot of why i love peanut butter burgers it was so fucking delicious it was so juicy so creamy so salty so oh my god it, it hit everything like and i would bite into it and i would see like the juices dropping out of the burger and it, it and the juices look the exact color as you want them to look like when they're dropping out of your burger. This meat is so fucking fresh. It it oh my lord, this place was incredible. And then I don't know if they intentionally did this or if it was just such a crazy night, but they brought our sides out like literally as we were taking our final bites of our burgers. I feel like it may have been intentional, but I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I think I don't think you so. don't think it was. No, I think okay. they were just slammed. That makes sense. Um, so you got cheese fries. Mm-hmm. I got which were great tater tots with a side of truffle mayo. Oh my god, that truffle mayo was to die for. Mm-hmm. It was the perfect ratio. To not feel like you were dipping your tater tots in mayonnaise, but also not be overwhelmed with truffle flavor. Um, and those tater tots were crispy and hot as hell. Okay. They were we, so fresh. My fries were cold. Oh, yeah, they were. I forgot about that, but, but they were still really good. They were very crunchy. They tasted great. The cheese was still melty. I, I really, really enjoyed my cheese fries, even though they were cold. And it was like legit melted cheese, yes. not just like a cheese sauce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, oh, this place was so fucking great. That peanut butter burger was so good. That I, I wish made, we had one here. God. I made peanut butter burgers when we got home and you loved it. I did love it. I, I get it now. I didn't get it on the first bite, but by the time I made my way through that burger, I understand now. I want you to make them again. Me too. I want to make Can them Can we again. make them again next weekend? Next, I guess we can. We need to have some chili too. I want some chili. Oh, chili dogs! I can make my chili. I oh, yeah, I like mm, my chili. I like my chili. I don't like your chili. I don't like your chili. <laughs> your chili was weird. It tasted too much like chili dog chili, but that's and good, not like it was chili dog chili. chili. I want chili chili. We can make two separate chilies. We can have two pots on the stove at one time. No, you take Anyways, half the meat, and I take the other half. The, clocked. Fucking amazing. Beyond we will garbage. go back to Athens just to go to Clocked. <laughs> to me, this place was beyond garbage. Yeah. It was on Papa Lopes it was, level. It was, it was fucking amazing. And I kept saying, like, it, I am baffled by the fact that it's so good because they were about to close and they were slammed. Mm-hmm. And it was still, like, can you imagine going there on a day when they're not super busy? Like, if it tasted better than this, I think I would die. I would, too. I think I would die. I would, too. That that was incredible. Ugh. Like, oh, my God. Okay. So, the next place. You didn't my, give your rating. Oh, oh, no. It's beyond garbage. Beyond garbage. Heavenly. Okay. okay. Heavenly. Um, so, my mom and my sister also knew my friend. My Oh, God. I don't, don't want to cry. My sister was really good friends with her little brother. Um, anyway, so, my mom and sister came up to meet us to go to the Celebration of Life. And... Um, my mom really likes Cali and Tito's, which it's Cali, Cali and Tito's. It's Cali in Tito's. Cali in Cali in Tito's. It's not little hots. It's not Cali and Tito's. It's Cali <laughs> it's and Cali, Tito's. It's not Cali and Tito's. It's Cali in Tito's. I hate that name so like much. Like rock and roll. Cali and Tito's. Anyway, it's Peruvian, right? Didn't you tell us it was Peruvian? I Didn't think so. Didn't the menu say it was Peruvian? I think Peruvian? it was Peruvian, yeah. And uh, us fucking white people thought it was like a weird Mexican place. <laughs> just because it has tacos. <laughs> we thought it was Mexican. <laughs> just because it has tacos doesn't mean it's Mexican. I don't think you realize just how much you have changed. You? I don't think you understand. <laughs> like, going to Inoko, I never would have looked at anything else on that menu and known what it was. Like, I had no idea that they had gyoza because I had never eaten gyoza before I met you. I did not know that gyoza was dumplings. So many things you've changed about me. I would never have ordered a chorizo quesadilla. I would have gotten chicken quesadilla. Hmm. 
and probably would have been weirded out by the fact that it's not like a Taco Bell quesadilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so we went to Cali in Tito's. And There's millions of people like you out oh there. My, there are. <laughs> Especially in South Georgia. They oh, eat their tacos boy. with ground beef, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Mm -hmm. um, some, yeah, some some cheddar cheese, too. That, that, that. Calientito's place, that place was fucking awesome. Okay, I'm getting there. So we started out with chips and queso. Their chips, instead of being salted, they put garlic salt on them, mm -hmm. which was really interesting. Um, so I got a chorizo quesadilla, which was wonderful, but your food was better than everybody else's. It was, my food was not better than your mom's sandwich. Really? Well, I guess it, well, I, I didn't, I don't you think I tasted her sandwich. I didn't get a picture of her sandwich, okay. no. So she had a Cuban, was it? Yeah. That pork in that Cuban was so fucking good. It was sweet. It was savory. It was rich. It was tender. It was juicy. That, oh, I still feel bad that we threw out as much of that sandwich as we did because we had no way to take it and keep it fresh for us to eat later. We did not. That pork was insane. That sandwich was fucking great. That's, that sandwich was garbage. Um, My quesadilla was really amazing. Your quesadilla was really good. The only thing I didn't like about your quesadilla is how much cumin the chorizo had. Yeah. It had a little bit too much cumin. Like it, it, it was chorizo like, was flavor and flavorful enough. Like it didn't need. Like it was at that point where it's just a little bit over too much cumin. It wasn't like an excessive amount. That, but it was still pretty good. Mine was like this. Mine was what I want fried rice to be always. It was super rich. It was very meaty. I got it with steak. Um, it had eggs, scallions, uh, cabbage, peppers. It came with fried plantains, and the fried plantains were here exactly how I like them to be, almost burnt, where they're they're best that way, crunchy, they a little bit crunch, but then they're still mushy on the inside. Yep. yep. So, oh man, this this was that rice was amazing. That rice was insane. Like if it I was could get so good. If I could get this fried rice every time I get Chinese food, I would eat Chinese food almost every other day, because. This was, and I thought it looked like a little bit of, like it looked very small, but in each bite, I had a huge chunk of steak. It was packed with steak. Usually you get like steak fried rice and you get like small chunks. No, no. They gave me like actual, a lot of bunch of fucking steak. This place was awesome. I was full afterwards. <laughs> and then my mom ordered, yeah, because you didn't even need any of these. My mom ordered guava cheesecake empanadas. I didn't eat any of those. Oh man. They were awesome. They were fried perfectly. They were so crispy. The inside was so gooey and rich. And they come with cherries. And they're like coated in powdered sugar. Oh, man. So good. And mm -hmm. I don't really even like cheesecake, but I love guava. I've, I've had a really good guava cheesecake before. I, to, uh, to Cafe Tutu Tango, they used to have a guava cheesecake. Oh, my God. It was so fucking hmm. good. I'm okay. Not a, I'm not a big fan of guava. Garbage. Uh, I would say beyond. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I'd go beyond. No. I mean, maybe you're, if you're, I had eaten your food, my quesadilla was really good. But your it wasn't. mom's sandwich, that the eating that sandwich and my rice were. I I was expecting this because you kept saying, "Oh, it's Tex Mex, it's Tex Mex." So I was expecting like <laughs> it was Peruvian white people making Tex Mex, <laughs> and no. <laughs> It's like I hear the Spanish music when we walk in, and the dude at the counter is brown like me, and the people cooking inside are brown like me. I'm like, oh, okay, this might actually be good. Bless it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my sister liked it all that much because she was expecting it to be Tex Mex. Oh, your sister's so and white. It was not. Okay, so now to our one bad meal. Of is the, this the last one? Of Athens. Yes, it is. Well, no. Then we got... Did you want to talk about zombie? What zombie? The donut. Uh, what? The donuts and coffee as we were leaving. And, I mean, zombie, coffee, and donut, they were good. It was good. a good caramel macchiato and a, a really good fresh-made donut. Yeah. Um, what, what did I get? It's like strawberry... Something with bacon on top of it. It was strawberry bacon donut. It was pretty good. It was so fresh. I just made the mistake of ordering a caramel macchiato that was Halloween themed, which meant it had cinnamon in it. 
And without cinnamon would have been better. It was very good fine. without cinnamon. It was still, yeah, it was still good. I could still tell that it was very good. Okay, so our our anniversary meal, it was, oh man, we'll just go through. Okay, so we decided to go to this place called... Ginger Ramen Bar? Yes, yes. Because you knew that there was one here. There's one here. And, and the, the prices, prices were cheaper there, obviously, because yeah. And this Orlando place is also has as, as fuck. This, this place also has like reputation for being like a really good ramen place and being, but maybe you should have checked to see what color those people reviewing it were they are <laughs> frequented by white people at downtown orlando by white people at downtown orlando yes so bougie fucking assholes hipsters that have no who taste don't buds. know what this shit's supposed to yeah. taste like and probably would think it tastes bad if made the right way probably we should have looked for the asians i would we should have gone to that other little ramen. Exactly, because there were little Asian people in there. I shouldn't say little. There were Asian <laughs> people in there. <laughs> they were all smaller than us, to be fair. There were Asian people in there. <laughs> oh, Danny's going to want to fight you. I'm sorry, Danny. <laughs> they were, I mean, everybody's smaller than you, <laughs> basically. <And me. laughs> um, okay, oh, yeah, wow. we definitely should have gone to the bubble tea ramen bar down the a couple blocks down because up because we walked past it to get to Ginger. yeah god mistakes were made big big mistakes there were no non-white people okay, in I'm, this I'm fucking tell you place something, and this might blow Within your me? mind oh. i would rather go to naruto than back to Ginger. oh that's really bad yeah okay we haven't covered naruto take but yeah. naruto is so i don't want to go to naruto it, it, it only tastes like mirin like they drowned oh. the fucking stock in mirin oh Okay, so this was our anniversary dinner. Take pity on us, please and thank you. We started out with the gyoza. That gyoza was raw. It was pink as fuck. It was pink as fuck. And it's pork. It's mm-hmm. pork. You don't want pink pork. <laughs> you want some pink Floyd, but not pink pork. Yeah. Um, but they did at least give us an even number of gyoza. I can commend that I, I because most that, places yeah. give us an odd number. And you eat the extra one and most I, of the time. I, I really like the the crunchy bottom on them. Mm-hmm. That 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 crunchy bottom. There were some things done right, but yes. they're the big most big of wrong. it was not. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we also had. I don't remember what these things were called. Uh, they were like crispy rice uh, logs topped n- with spicy n- tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Stop with spicy spicy tuna and the raw jalapeno. On A them. raw jalapeno. Um, I actually liked these things. They were a little too spicy and a little too salty, but they weren't terrible. I completely blocked them out of my mind. Really? I that, actually thought this was the best thing so, that we ate. I thought they were so subpar. In that. Well, it was the best thing that I ate, and it still wasn't great. So, you want to talk about your ramen? Let me see it, because I don't even remember where the fuck I got. I don't remember what I got either. Oh, so it was like a, a black, black uh, garlic ramen it had crispy garlic on top which was pretty good before it got soggy um it had nori which no i i don't mind having you nori. don't need to put nori in ramen sometimes they do it sometimes it's mm-hmm. it, they do um i i would rather have had it on the side because when you have it sitting there it starts hydrating and when it starts rehydrating it starts releasing all that sea water flavor so what should have been a rich pork broth turned into a salt water broth <laughs> with a hint of pork. Um, it had mushrooms. The mushrooms were good. The noodles must have been some sort of fucking whole grain. Whole yes. Noodles. Yes. Yes. The pork was excessively thick, dry, and it even had though no it was flavor. submerged in broth, it was sitting in broth the entire fucking time, and it was still dry. The egg was the thing that angered me the most. Yeah, they left a hole. So they didn't cut the egg, right? Which, fine. I, I, some, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. My thing with the egg is that inside, it was raw and overcooked at the same time. So you had, like, the entire edge of it was overcooked, and the inside was raw. Like, not congealed, not cooked. No, it was just straight fucking raw. Like, how they did this is beyond fucking me. Like, I don't get it. Oh, 
God, this fucking sucked. And then the broth just felt like somebody scooped it with their hands and threw it in because it was not a lot of broth either. Now mine... And it tasted like nut, like fucking salt water nothing is what it tasted like. I like the picture that I got of mine because you can see just how thick the pork is because I had a piece that was like kind of propped up on the side of the bowl. Um, I don't remember exactly what mine was. I think it was like, it a, shoyu? Was like, like a shoyu, but not exactly. Um, the broth tasted like a garden. That had not been combined <laughs> properly or seasoned. It just tasted like a pile of raw veggies that were like composted together or something. Is it, what, what what greens are those? For that? Is that, that's not bok choy, is it? No, it is not bok choy. I think it may have been. I have no idea. I don't know, but it's not bok choy. That's... It was awful. Those whole wheat noodles were the, probably the worst part. And this fucker got an extra side of noodles before we saw the noodles. Because mm-hmm. um, I kept seeing everybody else bowls and they were like. Sad. Yeah. I'm like, I, 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 why would you put seaweed paper in my ramen? It was just floppy sadness. That egg was atrocious. The pork. I don't, I didn't even eat any of it. Did I? Didn't mm, I like I, give it to you? Or... I think you tasted it and gave, then gave it to me. Yeah. It was awful. I didn't even want to eat the noodles. You left your almost your whole bowl. I, I basically did not eat. I ate a couple bites. It was awful. Awful. I oh man. It was so bad. This is We were so disappointed. This is the worst ramen I've had in my entire life. Naruto is good compared to this. Cup of noodles is good compared to this. <laughs> Marujan mm-hmm. is good. Compared to this. Yeah. It was and it still ended up being bad. like $77 for the meal. Regrets. I Regrets. Was, I was fucking angry. Just sitting there waiting for the goddamn check. Yeah. And like, dude comes up. is like, oh, you want your check? I'm like, yeah. While looking at your full fucking bowl of ramen. He's like, okay, I'll be right back. He's like, fucking idiot. You're not going to ask how the food was? Why the whole... It was terrible. Terrible. We learned our lesson. Yeah, never eat a ginger. If it's famous and it's only frequented by non-Asian people, don't eat there. Yeah. We should have followed that fucking rule. We should have. If there are we... no people of color in the primarily people of color restaurant, then you probably shouldn't go. <clears throat> if it's known for being a a, a food from... Somewhere else, look for those people. <laughs> look for them. Yep. If it's on Unless Instagram, unless it's a Puerto Rican Chinese restaurant. If it's from Instagram and there's <laughs> only white people in that in in the pictures, the Mexican restaurant, then don't go. <laughs> if there's only white people in the Asian establishment, don't go. If there's only white people in the that's how we knew the Dominican um, establishment. Don't go. That's how we knew Sapporo was so good. It was always filled with Asians. Yes, always. Always packed. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could go for some Dragon Ball right now. Yeah, it was really bad. Anyways, garbage. Gin yeah, just garbage. It, it straight is up trash. It's fucking awful. Like so bad. You should be ashamed of this fucking place. And I looked up who the owner was, and it's an Asian guy. But how how do you make it so bad? Like, are you cutting costs or, on something? Are you not training the people to do well? Do they not care where they're cooking? They, what what what's the problem there? Like, why is it bad? It's trash, fucking trash. Anyways, anything else you have to say? Um, I want my anniversary back. <laughs> your anniversary, dear? Yeah, dinner? we should have just gone to clocked again. We should have. We we regretted that. <laughs> Should have just done a whole clocked episode. We should have, yeah. <laughs> All right, anything else you want to say about Athens before we end the show? Um, I really liked that we got to see changing leaves, and we got to walk through leaves, and I got to show you my campus, even though you were really over it by the end of the tour. I'm really glad that we got good coffee. We got Jittery Joe's, was really good. Yeah, we just didn't take pictures of Jittery Joe's. No. and uh, Zombie. Zombie coffee was really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We need to go back to Create. I, I think I like zombie coffee way more than Jittery Joe's. Oh, my gosh. You know what we should do? We need to see if Create has holiday drinks. That's true. We can do like a holiday episode. Mm-hmm. 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 We can do that with your friends. 
What oh, friends? they're here. Well, oh, our oh. friends. They're going to be my friends, too. Mariela is already my friend. Yep. <laughs> Kiko will be my friend. We will all be friends. Watch him hate you. Oh, it's don't impossible. Say that. He doesn't hate, he's in, uh, I think he's incapable of hating anyone. <laughs> well, you're stuck with me now, so if anybody hates me that you love, you're just going to have to get over it. They're going to have to get over it. Anyways. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. Felt kind of good being back again. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. All right. I guess we'll. Uh, next week, we got another backlog. Um, after that. Vote What's, for things that sound good, please. I, I, I'm I'm only choosing like one category of games for the next backlog. I have no so idea what the fuck I'm going to go with. I'm choosing one category, and it's going to be one of those games. And I think some of our listeners are actually fans of that category, so it might might work out well. Anyways, um, so next week we have a backlog. And then the 28th is Dragon Ball. Oh, we didn't talk about that. About what? Dragon Ball. Oh, the the collection. Yes. Oh, we can talk about it for the next week. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, you got to read some things. A lot of Dragon Ball by the twenty eighth. Some things. We haven't done a read in place in a while. That's I fun. have. I have fifteen days. Yep, you can do it. You can definitely do it. I have less than. I have fourteen days. I have to read it by that Sunday. By that Sunday, and I have yes. to play the game by that Sunday. So, I might stream it. Who knows? We can do this. I already have it on my Super Nintendo. So, all right. So, uh, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.